Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to skip rows to load in Excel using SSIS. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So yesterday I got a question from one of my subscriber, Garves Avenue, and he asked the same question that he want to skip some rows from the Excel file while loading the data using SSIS. So let's see how we can do that. In my D files location, I got a file employee.xls file and let me show you the data what kind of data it contains so it contains person's id first name last name email gender and we got the header information as well and this file contains 1000 records so we will be loading the data from this particular file into a sql server table email table and at the moment the email table is empty in case if you want to load the data then we can simply use a data flow task then we can use an excel source and oldb destination so this way we can load all data but suppose if you want to skip some rows then the excel source method won't work okay then maybe we want to use some other method so let's see how we can do this so first of all let me open my visual studio create a new project integration services project let me paste the project name here click on create so this will create a blank project for you all right so the basic SSIS project has been created and now to load the data from an excel file we will be using a data flow task so now let's discuss like how we are going to skip the rows so let me open the excel file so this is my employee.xls file and suppose if you want to skip 10 rows and want to read the data from this location then we, we need to write a select query actually what you can do you can write a select query select a star from and then bracket and then we need to type the sheet name so our sheet name is data and then we need to put a dollar sign here and then we need to like uh, write from which location you want to read the data so we want to read it from this location from 12th location so we will write a 12 because first column is a so we want to read from this column a 12 column and we want to read it till e column so let me just go back to the SSIS package so we will be using the OLEDB source here so I can just drag and drop the OLEDB source into the data flow task and then I can configure the OLEDB source I need to make a new connection here so I can click on new and then I can click on new again now from the provider I need to select Microsoft Office 12.0 access database engine OLEDB provider and I can click ok under server or file name we need to type the location of the file so the path of the file is d files employee.xlsx so i can paste the full file name here then i can go to the all and uh, under extended properties we need to write excel space 12.0 semicolon hdr equal to no i have written hdr equal to no header equal to no because i won't be using the header information from this file and i will be creating my own headers so for example if i take the header information from this particular file and the first column it will treat as header information and now if i will try to skip for example 10 records and then it will try to find the header information here and it will fail it will say that the column metadata is changed this is of integer value at this particular line the header information is not available so for example if you have the same value like id first name last name email gender at some particular row and you want to skip the rows and want to fetch the data till next header information then you can use the header information otherwise you should not use the header information so that's why i have put header equal to no and now i can click ok ok now i can just simply click on ok from here and because we are going to make this particular package as dynamic so that i can pass any number of rows and it can just simply ignore those rows while loading so I can just create two variables here the first variable I will call it as number of rows to skip and now the second variable I will create is select query all right and the data type will be a string for this one and now I can go to the expressions and I can write my query here and I will share this query with you so that you can use it in your environment and now I can copy this query from here and the double quote and now instead of this hard coded value 12 we can use the SSIS variable that we created number of records to skip so I can just drag and drop the this variable here and then I can just 
कन्वर्ट इट टू स्ट्रिंग डी टी अंडर स्कोर डब्ल्यू एस टी आर कॉमा ट्वेल्व इवेल्यूट एक्सुएशन ओके एंड आई कैन चेंज दिस वैल्यू टू ट्वेल्व आई है पुट ट्वेल्व हेयर द रीजन इज दैट इफ यू सी बिकॉज वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू यूज दिस हैडर इन्फॉर्मेशन सो इट विल स्टार्ट रीडिंग डेटा फ्रॉम दिस लोकेशन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीड ऑल रोज फ्रॉम दिस फाइल सो यू नीड टू पास ए वैल्यू टू सो दैट इट कैन रीड द डेटा फ्रॉम हेयर and for example if you want to skip 10 rows then you need to pass the value 12 here because if you will pass the value 12 here then it will skip the 10 records and then it will start reading the data from the 11th line let me go back and let me pass a value 2 here so if i pass 2 here it means that it is going to read all data all 1000 records okay so let me close this one go back to the data flow task right click on oldb source and then from data access mode i will select sql command from variable and then i can select the sql query from here i can click on columns now from this particular window we can just rename the output column so our first column name is id second column name is first name then last name email and gender so these are the output column names so i can click okay and now i can use an oldb destination to write the data into a sql server table and then i can configure the oldb destination i can create a new connection here so our table exists the email table exists in the bunk database so i will select this connection i can click okay from data access mode i will select table or view fast load because it does the bulk insert and then i will select the email table from here input columns have been with the destination columns so this seems good i can click okay so right now if you see the query so we are it is just going to select all data from the excel file into the sql server table so our excel file contains 1000 records so it is going to insert 1000 records from the excel file into the sql server table so let me just execute the ssis package so you can see that it has loaded 1000 records from excel file to the sql server table i can stop the execution of the ssis package and let me go back to the ssms and select the data from the table so you can see that 1000 records has been loaded to the email table so let me just truncate the email table for now and now the email table is empty in case if i want to skip 10 records from the excel file then what i need to do i need to pass the value 12 here because the first it will skip the first two records because it's not going to read the header information so that's why we need to pass a value 12 here so that it can skip first 10 records so you can pass this value outside of the ssis package as well for example you can call the ssis package from a sql server agent job or from a batch file as well and you can pass this value so let me execute the ssis package now it should load 990 records from the excel file so you can see that it has skipped the first 10 records and it has loaded 990 records to the sql server table So let me go back to the SSMS, and if you try to fetch data now, so you can see that it has 990 records in the email table. So yeah, this is how we can skip the records from the Excel file using SSIS. Thank you guys for watching the video, and if you like the video, then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon, and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.